Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I've got 10 really simple, but incredibly effective ball mastery exercises to improve your control with all the different surface areas of both feet. For today's exercises, I'm using one singular cone. So you can use a cone or a rolled up pair of socks, anything you have lying around the house, and you don't need much room. All we're gonna be doing is working in the small space here, getting those touches in and improving our confidence on the ball. Just before we get into the exercises, I wanna say a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I built my website, 7 mlctrainingcom And from websites to analytics to marketing tools, they're all in one place to grow your online presence and manage your business. So let's jump right into the first exercise here. We're gonna be using the sole and insides of both feet. So starting with the ball beside the cone, we're gonna drag it back behind the cone, use the inside of our foot to push it across our body, release midway, push it forward with the inside of the opposite foot, and then stop it with the sole once again. And then we're gonna pull it back, do the same thing in the opposite direction and get a rhythm. So for all of these exercises, start slowly. Once you've got the technique down, then you can increase the speed. I'd recommend going for about 30 seconds and then resting for 30 seconds between each. So this is what the first one looks like. So we drag it back, forward, inside, inside, forward. And we're just gonna get in a rhythm. Once you get confident with that, you can start to keep your head up and then start to increase the speed. So go for 30 seconds without stopping. For the second exercise, it's a similar pattern, but this time when we drag the ball back towards us, we then use the sole of the same foot to roll it behind that cone and push it forward with the inside of the opposite foot. So we can get in a rhythm with this one once again, going for 30 seconds without stopping. Start slowly until you get confident with the exercise and then increase the speed. Moving into the third exercise, we're gonna incorporate the outside of our foot now. So we start with our opposite leg on top of the ball this time, drag it back towards us. Then we're gonna use the outside of that same foot to push it behind the cone. And then the inside of that same foot to push it forward beside the cone. Then we're gonna exchange feet and go in the opposite direction. So once again, we're gonna get in a rhythm, start to get the head up as you get confident with it. And then once you've really got the technique, start to increase the speed. The next exercise is V-cuts. So we start with our inside leg on top of the ball. We're gonna drag it back towards us, this time at a 45 degree angle, so diagonally. And then as we get to the middle, we open up our body, pivot on our planting foot, and push it with the inside of that same foot. Then we put our opposite foot on top of the ball, and then we do the same thing. And then we can get in a rhythm. As always, start slow. And once you get the rhythm, increase the speed, and then start to lift your head. Next, we have triangles. So we're gonna start with our foot on top of the ball. This time we're rolling the ball in front of the cone, put our foot back on top of the ball, and then we're gonna perform the same V-cut. So we drag it towards us 45 degrees, open up and push it with the inside of that same foot. Then we're gonna perform the same exercise and get in a rhythm with this one. We're gonna go for 30 seconds on our right foot, and then we're gonna do 30 seconds on our left. Next up is alternate V-cut. 
So we're gonna start with the outside leg on the ball this time, drag it back towards this 45 degrees. This time exchange feet, open up our hips, push the ball with the inside of the foot to the opposite side of the cone, place that same foot on top of the ball, and then repeat in the opposite direction. So it's combining the sole roll and the V cut. Again, go for 30 seconds, increase the speed once you get comfortable with it, and then start to lift your head. Moving into the next exercise, we've already worked on the V-cut. We've also worked on the alternate V-cut. Now we're gonna combine the two movements in one exercise. So starting with our inside leg on the ball, we're gonna drag it back towards us 45 degrees, use the inside to push it in the opposite direction to the opposite side of the cone. And then we're gonna use that same foot to drag it towards us, this time exchange feet and go back to the start. So as you can see, V-cut, alternate V-cut, V-cut, alternate V-cut. We're gonna go for 30 seconds one side, and then go 30 seconds in the opposite direction. Next exercise is the square. So we're gonna start with the ball just in front of the cone, place our foot on top of the ball, roll it in front of the cone, drag it back with the opposite sole, use the inside to push it behind the cone, and then the inside to push it back to the starting point. Then you're gonna get in a rhythm with this one, creating a square shape around the cone, going for 30 seconds, increasing the speed once you get confident with it. The next exercise is a little bit more complicated, so really start slowly with this one until you get that rhythm down before increasing the speed. So we're gonna start with our foot on top of the ball. We're gonna perform an L drag. So we drag it towards us behind that standing leg, use the inside to push it behind our standing leg 90 degrees, and we use our opposite foot, put our sole on top of the ball and drag it back the direction it just came from. And we're gonna use the inside of our foot to perform a square, and then we're gonna get the ball on our opposite foot and then do the same movement in the opposite direction. So L drag, Bring it back, square, L drag, square, L drag, square. And then get in a rhythm, go for 30 seconds without stopping. And for the final exercise, we're gonna incorporate the laces. So starting with the ball directly behind the cone, we're gonna use the top of our foot to push it out 45 degrees, and use that same foot to drag the ball back towards us. Then we're gonna exchange feet, use the laces to push it out in the opposite direction, and then drag it back. And then we're just gonna get in a rhythm with this one. Again, start slow, increase the speed once you get it down, and then you can start to lift your head up as well. So there we have it, 10 ball mastery exercises to improve your control with all the different surface areas of both feet. And just before I go, I wanna say another huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I built my very own website, 7mlctraining.com. It's become the central hub of my entire brand, allows me to put everything 7mlc training related in one place, from my blog post to my podcast, as well as my very own seven day ball mastery training programs, Maestro and Maestro 2.0. So if you enjoyed today's exercises and you want a full comprehensive program to take your ball mastery 
you to the next level, check those out. I'll leave links to them in the description box down below. But if you've ever considered building a website, you don't know where to start, check out Squarespace and they make it so easy to build a professional looking website without needing to know anything about coding or web design. And if you use the link in my description, www.squarespace.com slash 7MLC, you can get 10% off your first website. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.